Hi, my name is Jillian Wallace Horvat, and I made a film called I Blame Society, and Fade to Black was a very big influence on me. I Blame Society is about a filmmaker who wants to make a film so badly that when she feels like her friends and colleagues are starting to lose faith in her ability to make it happen, she basically loses her mind. And part of her psychosis is wanting to make her life more like a movie. Let's watch the trailer and you'll see how I was inspired by Fate to Black. This is Eric. Fate to Black stars Dennis Christopher, hot off the success of Breaking Away, as Eric Binford, a guy who's Eric obsessed Binford. with classic Hollywood movies. In my world, that makes him very attractive and cool, but in 1980, nobody gets this, apparently. His aunt Stella, but is she really his aunt, is critical of how he spends time just going to the theater or watching films in his room. The people he works with, including young Mickey Rourke, are also dismissive of his passion, even though they work at a film board. Finally, he meets this narcissistic Marilyn Monroe doppelganger, who is initially just happy to meet someone who is as obsessed with her as she is, but as she gets to know him and finds out all the cool shit he knows about movies, she starts to really like him. To you. I once went to three movies every day for a year, and I never missed once. I can't picture the creature who'd want to marry you. Tell me, who is this unlucky girl? Marilyn Monroe. I also watched three movies a day when I worked at a video store, so that part really hits hard for me. But of course things can't work out for Eric. He meets an actor turned movie director who steals his idea, and the incessant criticism and derision of his passion eventually pushes him to murder, accidentally at first. Manslaughter precipitates psychosis, and soon Eric pushes back against a world that sees no value in dreams. The film is a real showcase for Dennis Christopher, who gets to play a Tony Perkins-type character, plus do impressions of Bela Lugosi and James Cagney. In the hands of someone less charming, it could be annoying, but Christopher gets to be strangely sexy in a fucked up way. Dennis Christopher, star of Breaking Away, creates an unforgettable portrait of life on the edge of terror. <laughs> Fade to Black. Fade to Black is directed by Vernon Zimmerman, who came up through the New York underground film scene. He did a short called Lemon Hearts that starred Taylor Mead, a fixture of Andy Warhol's factory. Then Zimmerman made his feature directing debut with Deadhead Miles, a trucker comedy starring Alan Arkin and written by Terrence Malick. I have to tell you, if you're wondering why Deadhead Miles isn't easier to see, it's because it's just wall-to-wall -wall hippie humor and hasn't aged well. After Fade to Black, Zimmerman's only other credit was co-writing Teen Witch in 1989. As the sporadic career of someone as talented as Zimmerman attests, movie making is not a meritocracy. And people like Eric Binford, who put their whole lives into the love they have for the magic of the silver screen, often find that the love they give to Hollywood isn't reciprocated. This is it. It's Hollywood. You can't touch me. They at most become a brief spectacle, filling the screen with light and color for a moment before they fade to black. <laughs> 